Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moluño, and here we go. Hello, friends. This is Rosanna. We are at episode 181, Uno Ocho Uno, and today for Thursday Love Talk, we're going to discuss uh, some tips on uh, why you shouldn't keep all of your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and quick ways to make you feel better about deleting and blocking somebody. But before that, I wanted to answer the trivia for yesterday, which was, can you identify this tune? And who sings it? Answer was Stevie Ray Vaughan singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I picked that song because it reminds me of Coco because she's got fleece as white as snow. And I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. I am a big, big fan. And, uh, of course, he passed away tragically on uh, August 27, 1990, in a helicopter crash. Because of that day, I was compelled to do something. I don't know why. It just felt very, I think a lot of people, a lot of fans can relate to what I'm about to say. It almost felt like you knew him, right? It, like you had this feeling like he was your buddy. He was just such a great guy from what I've heard. And I've met a lot of his friends. I've spoken to a lot of his friends. They have shared intimacies with me about him and pictures and gifts and lots of things that I've received over the years. So I started a page on uh, MySpace before Facebook came out. And the page is still up and it's called uh, For Stevie Ray. I had over 40,000 fan base that I had on there. 5,000 of those people followed me into Facebook when it started. And I had a hard time deleting those people. Not sure why. I think just because they were friends of Stevie's and we were talking back and forth, but I was getting to the point where it was a little bit too much for me. So I decided to start deleting people. And then it evolved into less than a thousand, less than 500, less than 300, less than 200. And now I've got like 135 friends that I've kept. And these 135 are people that I've really already know that I've met in person and some people I don't know because they are networks for my podcast and my entrepreneur business and that's the difference between how many friends you have and how many you don't so if you don't have a business you really don't need over a thousand friends look at it this way if you rent a hall for a party are all of your Facebook friends going to come if you are locked in a trunk <laughs> of somebody's car, I don't know why you would be. I'm just saying. I, I'm not sure where that came from. But if you're locked in the trunk of somebody's car and you don't know where you are and you're terrified and you have your cell phone in your hand, okay, and you can't call 911 because they're defunded. <laughs> I'm just saying. They're, that's what's going to happen. Basically, if you do, if you're if you have a defund of the police, I don't mean to sneak the politics in here, but if you defund the police, that's basically what's, what you're going to end up with. All right, you're locked in a trunk in trouble, life and death situation. You can't call nine one one because social services isn't going to help you. Um, you're going to call some some friends on Facebook. Who of those friends of those thousands of friends that you have on Facebook are going to come save your life? Okay, the ones that are not going to come, those are the ones you need to delete. It's really that simple. <laughs> Done. The end. I'll see you next week. No, I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? You don't need that many friends, okay? Because those aren't really friends. Those are just followers. So I would have to ask you, why do you feel better having a thousand friends than opposed to just 20? Does that make you feel less than a person? Does that make you feel less important? Do you feel more loved? If you have more friends, do you feel like people are going to look at you and say, ooh, look how many friends she's got, thousands of friends, as opposed to this one who's only got 20. Do you worry about how people think about you? Please, like, don't make me go there because you know how I feel about that. How, how do you respond to that, my question? And also, you would have to ask yourself, 
not only would they not save your life, but how many of the friends on your list have your personal cell phone number? How many people on your list are you willing to invite over for dinner? How many people on your list are you, are you willing to invite over to Christmas dinner with your family, with your close family? Are you willing to invite any of these people? How many of these people on your list have you already met in person, but they're like years ago, like you used to date in high school or something, and you're still friends? Is there a reason why you're still friends with these people, right? Okay, you know what I'm, you know where I'm going with this, right? You, you really don't need those kind of friends. People that remind you of a past because they make you feel younger, or maybe once when you were, you know, young and, or once when you, they just bring back nostalgia, make you feel better about yourself. You know, just because they post on your Facebook page, happy birthday every year, doesn't mean you owe them anything. Just because they like your photos and heart your, your posts, doesn't mean that they really care doesn't mean you have to keep them. You don't have to be loyal to that. You see what I mean? Or just because they email you every once in a while doesn't mean anything either. A real friend, see, I have a problem with how people consider people that are not friends, friends, like coworkers and such. There's a big difference between coworkers and friends. If it's outside of 5 p.m. after working hours, they might be considered friends. People inside of work, I only consider them coworkers. Friends of work period ended <laughs> like my dad says I'm gonna totally use that forever do you know what I mean I don't have old boyfriends on my Facebook there's not one I don't have the the oldest people that I have on my friend that I've known forever I have a couple of friends from elementary school we actually talk though I will be deleting some because there's no point in keeping them for what there's no like I said there's no reason to keep them sometimes you feel like but I've known them for so long okay look unless they have secrets that you know, about you that can hurt you in some way, you might reconsider. But if not, then I don't see why you have to keep them. So just go through your list today and separate between your Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Separate the friends that would save your life, number one. Number two, that you gave your cell phone number two. Number three, that you actually talk to on the phone because they might just have your number and never talk to you right? Number four, people that you've actually met in person, face to face. And then out of those people, you could say, you could ask yourself, number five, when was the last time you saw them in person? And number six, maybe you could say, do you need anything from these people? Is there something that you need from them? Like maybe you have a lawyer on your list. You might need a lawyer. That's not really friend. That's more like a business relationship, though. You might need a doctor. Maybe you have a doctor on there. Maybe you have a photographer, you know, a mechanic. Maybe you have something like that. Are they really your friends or are they just business acquaintances, business relations that you might need in the future? Then, okay, then you might do that because they might need something from you, too. So you might want to separate your business and your friends, you see? and keep them all in the same group on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, that's fine. Like your LinkedIn. LinkedIn is different than Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn, but it's only for business. That's how you should be looking at Facebook. Facebook, if you're not a business person, just look at the personal Facebook, just friends, you see? If you need a dentist or a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, well, then why don't you look for them on LinkedIn and have them follow you there? They probably have a page. And then just get rid of them from your, that's how you clean it up that way. You delete them from your Facebook and you keep them on your LinkedIn. I think it just causes less trouble. And, and I know a lot of you are thinking, so what? Big deal. I have 2,000 friends and you got 10. So what? Who cares, right? Well, no, this is what happens. Facebook only cares about money. So does Instagram and Twitter. Let's face it. The more friends that you bring in, the more money they make. It's a numbers game. We know this. It's not a secret, right? Are you getting paid to have more friends? Are they sharing this money? They should be giving you compensation here. You should be taking a little bit of the percentage of friends, like, you know, like a mutual fund. If I'm going to bring in friends for you, then you need to give me back something. How about that? That's how I look at it. I've got 135 friends. Where's my percentage? When I had 5,000 friends, where was my percent? They didn't send me any checks. So why am I doing you a favor? Look at it that way too. It's all about numbers. That's why when you visit a page, you'll get you might know this person or a friend might add a friend 
and they connect it to you and whatever it is that you like because you know they're nosy like Google so they know all your personal crap and they'll send you these little re requests like um, you might know these people they have mutual friends a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend yeah connect connect yeah you know you know they're trying to get you in there that's really what it is it's all numbers Meanwhile, they're making all this money. So no, no, thank you, Facebook. Thank you. You've deleted enough of my posts and blocked a lot of my videos. You can shove it. I'm just going to do this, keep my couple of friends that I have, and that's it. But I'm going to start deleting, and I'm going to start finding the podcasters that are on my Facebook, and I'm going to find them on LinkedIn, hook them up to LinkedIn, delete them from Facebook. And the people that I have that are friends from my past that I've known for a long time, if I'm not talking to them on a continual basis, they're going to be deleted as well. There's no point for them. If you have my phone number, you don't need to be on Facebook. Just call me and talk to me. Why do I have you on Facebook? To share what? Memes? And keep pumping Facebook full of money? That's okay. No need. No need. Let's do this. Let's work that way. And if you're understanding what I'm trying to say, you don't need to keep feeding the machine money. You don't need to because you're being used. And I, for one, don't like being used. It, it's very... Um, offensive to me. I don't like it. So we'll start there. We'll leave it at that. Do your list. Follow through. Appreciating the real close friends that you have. And don't worry about your numbers. If you've only got 10 friends, big deal. If you've only got five friends, who cares? And also make your friends private where it says in settings on Facebook and look for friends list and make it private so that nobody can see it. I've had so many friends so many times tell me, hey, do you know this guy? He just sent me a private message. He wants to be my friend. Do you know this guy? I'm like, no. He was a friend of a friend of a friend that I accepted. Either podcasting. In fact, I had two that were podcasters, now that I remember. They got into my uh, account as a friend, and then they started sending requests to all of my friends, all of my female friends. So make it private. Nobody needs to know who your friends are. You don't have to show off who you know. Don't worry about it. If that's how you feel about it, then you might want to take a look in the mirror and ask yourself why it's so important for you to show people how many friends you have and who you know. Is there, you're compensating for something that you're missing in your life or how you feel about yourself. That's your problem, but you should take care of that. Okay, I'm not insulting. I'm just trying to help you. You should really look into that and find out why you're doing that. Why you think people judge people with how many people they know makes no sense. You need to value yourself for yourself. I'll be very, more than happy to have just one friend on Facebook. But I have more than one. And a lot of my friends don't live in the United States. A lot of my friends live outside of the United States. And that's how we connect. You know, either they don't have a phone to call me or it's long distance and it's too much money or whatever. So we connect that way. I'll leave you on that note and I will give you your trivia now for tomorrow, Friday Foods. And the question is, what does HTTPS stand for? On the URL, if you're online right now and you're looking on your PC, look at the top. HTTPS colon slash slash www dot whatever. What does that HTTPS stand for? Don't Google. Just try to work your brain. Test yourself all the time. See, you might, get, you might get some of it right. I'll give you the answer tomorrow for Friday Foods. And how do we end it? In with the outro. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. And what do we say? <laughs>